Welcome everyone, this is Justin McCabe from 117 West Spirits, and today we are going to be making uh, my wife's favorite drink, uh, the French 75. It originated in the New York bar in Paris in 1915, and was named after the French 75 millimeter field gun, uh, which was used during World War I, and uh, it packs a punch just like the gun itself. And uh, the fun thing about what we're gonna do today is, uh, as a distillery uh, who makes all our own spirits, sometimes we wanna make cocktails that have other people's alcohol, say like champagne in this case, and we have to figure out the challenge of how do we make a drink like the French 75 in our tasting room where we can't serve other people's alcohol. So what we're doing today is we're gonna kinda nerd out on this right here, which is a fun acid alternative uh, champagne. And uh, it's based on a recipe from Dave Arnold's book, Liquid Intelligence. The idea is that you can mimic the uh, tartness or sourness from the acidity of the acids uh, present in champagne and wine. And we're gonna use uh, tartaric acid and uh, lactic acid, okay? The tartaric acid is usually a measure of total acidity in wine. And uh, in this case, we're doing uh, half a gram per 100 milliliters, so it'd be like 0.5% total acidity uh, in that case uh, with the, the tartaric acid. And then uh, the lactic acid is representing the lactic acid that is produced during the malolactic fermentation of uh, the malic acid being converted to lactic acid uh, in Chardonnay, and it's also used in Champagne. And the, the result is you get that very uh, typical buttery kind of uh, creamy mouthfeel in both Champagne and uh, Chardonnay. Now the, the pH of this uh, is got to be below four for wine um, and uh, this particular one was about 2.8 pH when we used uh, half a gram each of the tartaric and lactic acids. You can buy those on Amazon. I got them from Modernist Pantry. That's a great site if you want to check it out and kind of nerd out about science of food. Uh, and make your gelato taste better, uh, make your uh, juices more clarified, all that kind of fun stuff, okay? So let's go ahead and make the French 75. So we've got our acid alternative champagne, we've got some lemon juice, we've got our simple syrup, and of course we've got 117 West Univer style gin. Fill up the shaker with ice, then we're gonna put ounce and a half of gin. We're gonna do three quarter ounce of simple syrup. Just half ounce of lemon juice. It's gonna give us some nice citric acid, but we're adding other acid to the champagne, so we don't wanna overdo it with the citric acid. We'll give this a shake. Strain it into a coupe glass. You could also use a champagne flute, or you could do a um, just a wine glass if you don't have a champagne flute available. And uh, the coupe glass works great too. And then we're going to top it off with a few milliliters of our champagne alternative, and it also gives us the nice carbonation. So the one thing I didn't say about making this champagne alternative. You're gonna put the half a gram of the each acids, the lactic and tartaric in here. Um, and you wanna use carbonated water. You could use club soda. Um, I use like a soda stream carbonated water. Um, you could just, you could use like a Topo Chico, what any kind of mineral water. So then to finish this off, we're going to use a lemon twist. Kind of express that lemon over the top to give it a nice aroma and then try and twist that guy around and we're just going to kind of hang him on the edge there for you and there you have it the delicious french 75 i recommend it for breakfast or brunch as an alternative to a mimosa enjoy